Hello, this is a, another video for EasyEd. This one is going to be a correction to a couple of the videos I made where I said that it wouldn't work on plastic kennels like this that they sometimes call a very kennel. Um, it will. I've come up with a new way to make it work. As you can see on the door here, I'm going to explain how to put it on and how it works. Uh, but you can see that it works awesome just like, uh, just like the other ones. And what it does is it add some latches to the product that you that you buy uh, right out of the box so I'll explain it here let me let me start off with the product this is the product uh, you know as it's as it comes which was originally intended for wire crates like you see on here but if you've watched some of the other videos you know that I've adapted it to panels and, and pens and a lot of different things and this is going to be how you adapt it to these these plastic kennels which are very popular probably almost as popular as the wire crate that it was originally uh, made for. So as you can see, in this case, I've got a large kennel, so I used two of these, which which means I had to you would have had to buy one double opener like this because two come with it. So if you open this package and take it out, if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll know that what you get is like you see over here, you get an opener with this little plate already mounted to the back of it, and then you get this longer plate that goes on the back of the wire crate door. Uh, which I'll show you right down here. This is the long plate. You also get a bag with some screws and stuff that you use to mount it on there. So what you're going to do for this application is you're going to disregard this long plate, just toss it aside, and you're going to remove this plate from the back of the box where it comes. It comes in the box normally assembled to that. You're going to remove it by taking out three screws and then you're going to use it as the plate on the back of this door. So there's a screw there, there, and there. What I'm saying is you take those three screws out, allow you to re to, to separate this from the box, and then you're going to mount uh, mount it with the door between the plate and the box. Put the three screws back. So all you got to do is figure out where to mount it on the door and come up with these things. So that's what I'm going to explain now. As far as where it goes on the door, you want to pick a place that like this where where the box is not going to hang off the top or hang down off the bottom. Uh, if this works whether your door opens to the right or the left, it doesn't matter. But if it opened to the left, this thing would hang down. In any case, just make sure that they stay in the door nicely like this. And then you're going to have these these uh, these latch rods right here. Uh, either two like I have or perhaps one if you have a smaller crate. And um, the, the, the key part is these these uh, kennels come with a squeeze of mechanism like you see here where you squeeze this together and these rods come together and come out of these holes at the top and the bottom. That's how it normally opens. And what I had been saying before is that the easy out wouldn't squeeze anything and it still won't squeeze anything. But what I realized is I can take the tie wraps that come with the product, use them to uh, keep this, uh, to lock these things down in place like you see here so that the, the the rods that come with it are, are never engaged and then just mount my easy outs like always drill two holes in the side of the plastic it's a nice strong lip all the way around all these things the rods go through that plastic and keep it sturdy so then the only thing left is is to explain these rods so if you watch some of the other ones you've seen that I use these kind of rods a lot they're called barrel bolts in this case what I did is I bought a um, a four inch barrel bolt. That's what this is, four inches. I'm going to show you how to do that. You just take it, take it out of the package. The only thing you need is this part. Don't need any of the rest of it. All you have to do to get this rod out is just simply take the two sides that hold it in with some vice grips like this. Pull it apart so that it's, so that you can remove this bar that's in the middle. Just pull a little bit more. Might come apart, doesn't matter, you're going to throw it away. Now you have this rod. So the rod serves as the latch, but also as you can see, as I've done before, I take some wire, simple metal wire like this, take out a little piece, wrap it through the hole and around the, the, uh, the handle of this rod. And this rod works terrifically to be the actuator. And it's pretty easy to mount to the door. 
because all I did is down here in this case I just took the two tie wraps that were extra that came with the product made little loops to hold it so that it slides along it slides along this horizontal bar of the door you could pick any of these horizontal bars whatever works for your crate and just set it on top gravity will hold it against there and then these two things will keep it against there and it makes a perfect slide or another sometimes better way is up here you notice I've got a more advanced way where I've got these little plastic uh, bushings you can buy these at Lowe's easily or Home Depot this is what it looks like it's a nylon spacer it's this size of 0.45 by 0.325 by 2764 this length is not that important but the diameter is obviously and the point is that when you when you buy these spacers they're absolutely perfect um, bushings for these rods that come in those standard barrel bolts they slide nice and smoothly so you can use them uh, wherever you want and then you just tie wrap them to the rod and you do the same kind of thing it's a per wonderful latch easy to make this thing costs 92 cents the wire is almost free so it doesn't really cost anything to do this you just drill the hole you line up the hole obviously with the uh, wherever your latches are the, the engagement that comes with it is is out of play and then it's that's it that's the whole story you just take the remote you can see it works like a charm they come open nice and easy your dog comes out just like on any other application it's real easy to shut then if you want to go back to the other all you'd have to do is cut these tie wraps and you would have the use of your original um, hardware again for the t for the normal engagement up and down uh, but the thing is that if you have a crate where this where you can't make this work you just can't get this out of the way all you got to do is take this off just one of our customers just remove their original hardware altogether take off all this bar from the crate door just you just pull it off you might have to wiggle a little bit to get it off and then it's gone you have a fresh uh, door to work with put these latches on like you see here and you're done so that once you use it for these awesome plastic uh, kennels which you travel with and, uh, a lot of people have these and like these uh, and it's uh, another way to enjoy the easy out and use it in your home so thanks very much for watching bye bye